Guys, welcome back to another Monday game review. Here yeah, we're checking out. Oh my god, all these damn tutorials! We're checking out um Trader Life Simulator. A dev just sent a copy of the game yesterday, I think. Yeah, we're checking it out today. Uh, I played it a little before. I know the basics. That's why I said the um, the tutorials are annoying. I think this is the last one. Right. Basically, you run a stone, you have to restock, trade, and everything. Rock. Looks ridiculous there. I'll leave it there for now. Um, this you. Good job. Put this on the. Or. Why is it giving me only the black ones? It's random by the way. I finally got a white one. It's Ten in total in the box, so it should have a oh, to bring me another color. That should be all the colors, yes. And a red one. Right, so basically you run a store. You have to trade with other stores to get the goods to sell. And you can expand your market by building more shelves, getting fridges and selling more different selling different types of goods. At the moment you start off with a one rack to place in your a box of detergent, a box of tissue, one of diapers, and I think that's about it. Once you open your store, you start to get an income. You can buy more stuff for the store. The placement in this game, like placing stuff, it's really good. It's one of the features I find actually works decent. Being able to place stuff on the shelf and stuff. Stack them so you can place the stuff on top. I mean, need it. Um, Out there. You can literally make a pyramid of out of stuff. That was the last one. I can jump. Oh, jump really high there. Let's move there.
Go across there. Uh, unfortunately, there's n not any gravity yet. Um, in the game, there's no gravity just yet, so let's come on buy something from the bottom shelf. Come on, buy something from the bottom shelf. That would be good to have a bit of gravity so that you. And have it that the um, customers buy it in the order that it is on the show. And not just randomly buy in. In any order. So as you can see how I have it stacked here. They buy something on the bottom. The um, item on the top will just be floating. That's one of the things I kind of don't like, but it's reason. It's minor details that could be fixed. But I just stuck these diapers on the shelf here. Each box you purchase uh, comes with 10 items set in it. That one came with 10. It's slightly glitching through the top, but... Uh. But I just had it. Right. This one is the T, it's telling it, like a small pyramid. So as you can see to the bottom, um, right hand corner there, there is uh, meters for your survivor, so you have hunger. Of hunger, dirtiness, and ladder. So you would need to get a washroom up and running eventually. You don't start off with any of the necessary stuff other than a basic toilet. But you have to build everything in your house and everything in the grocery, in your store. Supermarket. The game actually runs decent on a low end PC, so if you have a low end PC and you still want to try out the game, it would run decent. As you can see, I'm getting about 27 frames when OBS is open. It does have a setting for low end PCs, so if you guys are when you're on a low NPC and you want to try out the game, you can go around the game. You know, some of you guys can't really have a high NPC at the moment. Again, from experience. So, let's suck the coffee here. I'm going to use some money to go get some more goods after this stack up. Trying to make a pyramid here quick. Right 
there is a um, certain food you need to store them in a freezer. I noticed that from playing the game earlier. So there is the aspect of food spoiling and good spoiling within the game. Which adds a bit more immersion to it. Again, as usual, all the links to get your hands on the game would be down in the description. And a full in-depth detail of the um, game itself will be down there. Not going to open my store today. I'm going to focus on resupplying. So I'm going to take my arm. Um, don't mind that. Just tell me to save the game. I'm going to take my vehicle here. Yeah. One thing that I think they can fix. It's... The game is in early access after all, so there is a bit of bugs. Uh, when you drive the vehicle, the area tends to... camera tends to shake a lot. Like, ridiculously. As you can see there, the background is shaking a lot when I'm driving. If possible for that to be fixed, that would be good. That's the second issue that I have with it. I'm being honest with all what that I think can be changed and what can be improved right now. As a, the state of the game right now, that's what can be improved. Hopefully. But as I said, it is in early access, so they might just patch that later on. in the um in another update but i slowly drive to my destination oh another thing the speed in this game doesn't really work so you can hear my engine revving up there but it doesn't look like I'm going even an inch faster than I'm actually. Really going so. Check on my lights here. And there's another tutorial. Yes, I know. I just saying that some goods need to be stored in a freezer. Like these guys here. I will not be buying any of those just yet. Actually no, not those guys, uh, these here. To buy some bleach. Right, so if you're wondering, three boxes can be and fit in the vehicle, so I'm just going to stock up on one more thing here. Uh, seems to be what they will. They're mostly clean and products. So, um, I should probably just start from this. Uh, the iPhone is just very expensive. We can actually stack the boxes. Not even though it glitches out. There is no, um, collision at the time. So you can actually see. Can I put any stuff in? Okay, so it's just oh, just opens the back. It says open door, but it only back um.
If it's night time, I haven't opened my store just yet. If you guys want to see me continue this um, game on the channel, let me know down in the comments. See what I can do for you guys. Hopefully. For some reason the vehicle turning doesn't work at certain speeds, so it would be very helpful if the um there was a visible even though there is a visible speed of meter right there but very helpful still there's more visible than it is right now. And if there is a way to get the um get your hunger Rather than um, going to the burger joint every minute to get your hunger, get food. It would be good that you can make food while you're home. Because you do have a residence. Obviously. Oh, this flash it needs to be a bit brighter. Oops, I'm not in there. We're well done, apparently we spent whole night stacking up that, so... Yeah, that's weird. We have a few more hours too. Run back before we open the store. Gonna run back home quick and get ready for the next day of work. We're opening the store tomorrow, so let's we'll see how that goes. It's because it's too difficult to drive. Just yeah. Sorry for the noise in the background. Right, so let's just save the game quick here on the laptop. Time to head off uh, in the store, and then we're gonna get something to eat quick, quick, quick. And we're gonna deal with restocking and stuff again. You do have to worry about fuel and stuff in your vehicle.
I always have a shot at corner. Because there's no um, sense of the speed that you're driving because you don't see the difference. I don't see the difference in the speed of the vehicle, so you tend to hope uh, I do should be fully stocked up. I'm just put a ladder back in the storeroom. And open the store. Just customer. You do get complaints when you don't have the goods that they want. Like that one wants clean and spray. I can go and get that right now, but I'm free. Two. Transfer to one Bank to card transfer. I don't know if I was near to the smartphone shop, I know it's somewhere around here. This laptop shop, yeah. Let's oh, further down the road. Come on, man. I really gotta go back to the produce. Oh, Damn it. Take our money out of the bank. Like twenty dollars, fifty dollars, fifty. Do have stamina by the way, as you saw they run out of stamina. I'm not going to take any loan stress yet. The NPCs in the game looks very weird. 
Same model might change in the future. So now we can. Currently, this is where I get shows. So. 50 per show. Jesus Christ, man. The hell is that so expensive? I would want that they uh, balance the prices a bit. I'm just gonna run all the way home. The, the, the driving mechanic is very weird. Right, so Right, so the point of the game is basically to expand your store, gain more money, stuff. Why am I going back home in the first place? Thirty eight. Oh, right. Haha, <laughs> forgot. My laptop is at home, so I have to go back to manage everything. I need to keep money in the bank for you to the, the three um cash that you see on the top left hand corner it's bank cash it's in the bank the wallet and card credit card so if i'm paying bills from my laptop i would need money within the credit card so the bills come out from the credit card anything that i buy would come out from cash and the bank would pay my employees I need to manage and make sure I have the money within each um each area. And for me to get the money after a day's work I have to go back to the store. Uh back to the store. You can see make three hundred plus. And um, take it out of the cash register. Complain so far. No cola, no burger, no sauce. No food. Peas. Eggs. This is all the complaints I have so far. Stuff that I don't have in the store. Eventually I would have all. Oh, 
Also, you can see there that we can upgrade the store to have like a newspaper, juice machine, coffee machine. That'll take a lot of money. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the first look at Trader Life Sim. If you guys want to see more of playing Trader Life Sim on the channel, I probably would. I don't own Twitch as a live stream when I'm just chilling in the evening or on YouTube as a series as we expand our store and make a full blown supermarket and make a lot of money. And get some more furniture for a house. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this review video, again, all the links for the... If you get your hands on the game yourself, all the links will be down in the description. There will also be an in-depth description from the devs on what the game is based on. You guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thanks to the devs for dropping a review copy of the game. For me to check out and show you guys today. And see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.